In this lesson, we're going to look at validation, authentication, and verification. So firstly, authentication is used to confirm the identity of a user before they can access a program. This is mainly used with username and passwords. They can also use fingerprint scanners, two-factor authentication, um, and so on. Here in this example, we've got username and password example. So this code will loop as long as the user does not enter the correct username and password. So Mia and Law123. So if the user does not enter these, both of them, or well, if, if they don't enter at least one of them incorrectly, then they would be asked to enter username and password again. So this program will keep asking them to enter username and password again and again and again until they get both of them correct. And then it will display username and password has been accepted. Verification is slightly different. So verification is used to double check the entry of something. In this case, we've got double entry of password. In most email services, whenever you register on the email uh, to sign up for an email, they will ask you to enter your password twice to ensure that you've entered the correct password and not added some extra um, characters that you don't want to. In this example, we're asking for password twice and then we're checking if the password one is equal, is equal to password two. So if they're not equal to each other, then it will ask them for the password one and two again and again and again. And it will keep doing it until both passwords match. Then it will display password has been accepted. Then we have validation. So validation is used to check that the data entered meets a certain criteria and it is mainly used to reduce errors and to stop the program from crashing. We've got range check, length check, presence check and type check. These are the main ones that you need to know about for your exam. Firstly, we've got range check. So a range check will check that the data is within a certain range. For example, we need to, in this example below, we're checking if the data is between 1 and 100. If it is, then we, disp we display the number. If it's not, then we repeat the question over and over and over again. So this will ask for a number, then it will check while the number is less than one or greater than 100. If that's the case, then it will ask for the number again. Length check is used to check that the length of a string is valid or acceptable or within certain, um, it has a certain number of characters. In this case, we have a password that needs to have at least eight characters. So when the user types their password, we'll check the length of the password. So if the length of the password is less than eight, then we're gonna ask them for the password again. And this will repeat until they enter the correct password. So this is a length check example. Then we have a presence check. So a presence check is when you check that the data has actually been entered they didn't just press enter without entering any data. This, in this example, we're checking that the username has been entered. So we've got username, we're asking for a username, and then we're checking that data has been entered. So we've got while the username is equal to empty. If it is equal to empty, then we're asking them for username again. And we keep asking them for the username until they enter the correct until until they enter something then it will display username has been accepted and finally we got a type check so this check that the data entered is of valid data type for example we need to check that the age is an integer and not a string or other data type for example here we've got repeat equals true while repeat is equal to true this will repeat the while loop as long as the variable repeat is true. So this will allow us to start the while loop. Then we have try. Now try is used to check something and stops the program from crashing. What this will do is first it will run this code. Age equals int input it will ask for age. Then the user will type the, uh, their age. Now if they type their age as an integer, the program will not crash. It will directly set repeat to false and it will stop. However, if the program does crash, then what will happen it will go right to accept. So rather than the whole program crashing, instead of going to repeat equals false, it will jump all the way to accept. 
then it will do accept and then it will display and please enter a whole number then the whole process will repeat it will go back to the start of the loop while repeat is equal to true yes it will try again with age equals int input it will ask for age if the age is correct it will set repeat false if the age is incorrect it will display it will go to accept and display that message and it will keep doing it until the user enters the correct age 